Hi, everybody. I'm here today with our wonderful friend, um, Sybil Harmony, and she, uh, we haven't talked in a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're a very good psychic. Oh, so are have you. I watch your shows all the time. But yeah. have you been doing favorite. shows? Have you been doing shows? I love your necklace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my necklace? I yeah. got to go see if I'm still subscribed, because did you hear that YouTube... I was on a show yesterday and they said YouTube's been taking people off. I'm sure it's some computer glitch. And four Ooh. people said I was no, they were no longer subscribed to me. They just saw that. So be sure to check your subscriptions. Yeah, I did like a show. I thought some people didn't like it. And I'm like, what happened? I, you know, I guess a bunch of people came off because I was almost near uh, 8,000. And then I'm like way back down there. I'm like, what happened? I it's something, that, some I sort of glitch. Wrong? And Sherry, she has the ones who show I showed up for a birthday party yesterday. She um she said that she was, you know, they can't give money to her show because she was put in jail, so to speak, from YouTube because they said her show wasn't original enough. Oh, you have to be original? I don't know. She said I could be original because I have a trouble not being, I'm like not normal at all. <laughs> well, she said I only do live. How do you make original with one? Well, they said, do you have a script? I don't know. I, it's so weird. It's just weird stuff. Fortunately, I've been doing pretty good. My numbers yeah. are going up. and Yeah, I see. I've been watching. It, yeah. Who knew that all of a sudden? This well, has everybody before. loves you. You're everybody's favorite. So they're not going to unsubscribe. But this has happened before. This has happened before. But did they unsubscribe from you? well people were accidentally kicked off oh accidentally yeah okay it's, it's an accident so don't oh. take it personal i had another oh. very good psychic out there in the youtube world contact me and said have you noticed all of a sudden my numbers went down a little bit which was very unusual for people who keep oh. moving up and uh it was youtube had made a mis mistake oh wow okay. so girlfriend so you've been doing okay Oh yeah, I've been doing really good. I'm teaching classes. I'm uh Whoa. I'm still doing uh private clients and um yeah, and I'm uh yeah, I've I've had a practice here for years, so that's been going well. I just got on here cuz uh my house with the politics cuz this house um is 120 years old and when I moved in, I found newspapers in the attic from DJ and the kids who used to come by and say, can we see grandma's house? And I'm like, sure, you can come in and see the house you grew up in. And they said, you know, this house was empty for two years. And I said, really, why? And they said, yeah, during World War II, everybody enlisted or went down to work in the bomb factories in San Francisco. And so wow. the house was empty. And I thought, that's so amazing. I thought, you know what? We're in a hands-on type situation now in this country and I want to do my part. So. I'm like, and then I used to watch you. I used to be so upset when, when Trump got elected, I cried for like 24 hours. I thought this is going to be really bad. I felt it. And then I would get on the YouTube and I would see you and I'd be like, I, I came oh. on after he was elected. I know. I know. Okay. But I got on there because I was like on the roller coaster ride. And then you, when I get on there, I'd be like, okay, it's going to be okay. It like calmed me down. And I'd be like, okay, it's going to be okay. And then my guides told me, you know, he'll be impeached. And I was like, oh, OK. I didn't ask, will, will he be convicted? I didn't know that. But they said you know it, the it wasn't decided then, but he would be impeached twice. And so I thought, OK. And then I kept getting the same answers that you were getting. And I thought, you know what? I can do this, too. And so I yeah. started learning how, because I don't know about technology. I always tell people I belong out in the flowers, in the trees or something. I don't know about uh, oh listen i didn't know i just started doing this i had no clue what i was doing and then one day my son said mom you know you can monetize your channel i didn't even know that yeah oh wow yeah yeah i didn't know that either but i i um i thought i want to do something to help and then uh I, oh i was talking to a client i said you know there's going to be a war in ukraine and she's all really I'm like, doesn't everybody know that? Oh, doesn't I got everybody it. Know this stuff? Like not a lot of people follow 
maybe now more because we're an election year and all the stuff that's happened, but not a lot of people follow everything. I'm like, doesn't everybody know this? No. So I'm I like, had that panic attack. I had a panic attack when I felt it coming. And I went outside and had my phone. I said, you guys, there's going to be a war. Russia's going to hit Ukraine. It's going to be terrible. Yeah, that's what I had. I was teaching this class, a psychic development class. And I had this Japanese student and she came to class. She was crying and everybody's like, what's wrong? And I felt like crying too. We were crying. And then the next day, the tsunami. Uh, like when 08 happened, I had these dreams at the bottom of my house fell out. And I'm like, what's this about? And then I drove down the street and I thought, something's going to happen. Something is not sustainable. People are going to lose their houses. And then, so I went and I sold some stock and I paid off my house. That's how I trust my dreams. And then sure enough, then the drop a lot happened. of people started losing their stocks and their houses. And mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa. Okay. So, yeah. So. Yeah. I read a little old lady. I don't have stock. I read a little old lady. She was like 80 years old. All her money was in stock and it was a lot of money. And she said, Linda, do you think I should sell my stock? I said, I'm not really a stock person, but I, threw the, cards. I threw the cards and it said, get out. So I told her, I can only tell you what the cards say. They're saying, yes, get out. And do you know, she sold all her stock and it was like two weeks later, the drop happened. Wow. Yeah. But I don't know anything about stock. Yeah, I tell people I'm not a stock, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, but I can read the energy for you. And there you go. Yes, so, yeah, you can too. People so when Trump goes away, will <laughs> Mag MAGA start to fade? Did you see that at all? Well, I think we have a bigger problem than than Trump because this started back. I was talking to that because I did a, a I do a regular Saturday morning show, but I was talking about when uh, we we won World War II. Some of the uh, Nazis went to uh, South America, and some of them went to the United States. So I don't know if it, something got seeded back then, or when Reagan was president, he started defunding mental health. There were it, setting it up for you know uh, you know the trickle down and all that. So I think, you know, and the Fox News was already there. So there's been, you know, extreme right wing before him. So I don't think, you know, I think they're looking for another one. But, you know, he was, uh, uh, I mean, you can't, uh, I don't think there's another one of him. Thank God. But No, uh, and I think he kind of ruined it for them. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he just destroyed the party from the inside out. <laughs> and did you hear Putin even called him a liar? Because he said, yeah. when I'm president, I can get that guy. And Putin said, that man's lying. He said he could get that reporter out of jail from Russia. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. When I become president, I'll talk to Putin and he'll release him right away, maybe even before. Yeah. And Putin came on and said, yeah, he's lying. Yeah. Uh, Putin's kind of disgusted with him, too, because he's such a big mouth. And he always says the, the the like he doesn't care about anybody. He doesn't even care about he's not he's like a gangster, but he doesn't have any loyalty to anyone except for himself. He'll throw anybody under the bus and he's stupid. Sorry. I don't like to call people names, but he, he's clever like a gangster, but he's not very wise or and I, I feel like I think yeah, I agree with you. Putin is uh Kind of like looking at him going like <sighs> well i do see a rebirth of the republican party do you but it's definitely not MAGA related oh you I do see, okay i see them remember democrats used to be <laughs> horrible so so you think that MAGA will go away with him not totally initially but they will people will be tired of the nonsense yeah yeah but we still are going to have like are we still going to have like extreme right wing, do you think, for a uh, while? Some people, but the Christian nationalists is the part. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Because uh, I knew there was something that's like not right. Yeah. Uh, so did you get any hits on um, on uh, this Justice Alito? Is uh, he in trouble? Well, I what my guide showed me, because I get visions. So 
they showed me that this is not literal. It's a metaphorical that he's run over by a steamroller and he's still standing up there with one arm sticking out. Here's my court order. He's still trying to like you, you can do anything you want to him and he's not going to change his mega stance or whatever till hell freezes over. He's not. Um, but so I guess that, I mean, they're just, and they're, if you listen to the Republicans, they're saying, well, they're just kind of blown. The, the left has really blown this out of proportion. It's just, you know, they're trying no, to he's supposed, miss Could it. you imagine a Democrat, if one is Sotomayor or somebody like that, yeah. put up stuff like that, they'd be saying demanding they were out of office. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah, so I, you know, it's kind of hard to read, but I feel like he's he's just so, he's so in the cult. He's like, he is in religious. Uh, I just don't feel like, I feel like after the election, we pass some laws we investigate but what do you, I do what see do you I do see a hearing I see the Senate and I Before? see no after we win the oh, second term. Okay. yeah and I see the justices sitting in front of them and they're giving them a what for yeah I feel like Roberts should be you know like he could have a talking to him but he can't I don't feel like he really like I feel like he you know he's talking like look at this or talking to him but i don't think he's gonna really make a difference i don't either he's a big wuss yeah yeah even roberts kind of turned crooked you know yeah he was the one that saved us from obamacare not getting thrown out oh really yeah he said where are you gonna get i think biden uh, not biden trump had the supreme court look at it they wanted it gone and he said, "Where? What about the forty million people that will now have no insurance? You have no backup. They yeah. had nothing. Remember, he was going to have the best health care ever. Yeah. yeah. And and so he Roberts was the one that said, no, I I can't vote for it to be taken out.' Yeah, yeah. He used to do to be more in the middle, but uh, something's happened to him. He's uh, he's being bought. Yeah, they're bought." They're all bought and paid for, yeah. 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 Did you want to ask me a question? Yeah, what do you see about uh, China and Taiwan? Oh, I know. I haven't thrown on that yet. Let me throw on I it. I haven't thrown on it either. I, I, I feel, when I look at it, I see that, like when those birds puff out their chests. Yeah. Like it's puffing. Like it's... Oh, look, look what we can do. But I'm, I'm telling you, they do that. They It will start a war, period. Mm -mm. I don't see the United States putting up with it or other countries putting up for, with it. Yeah. China and Taiwan. I really wanted to ask, though. I want to know. I didn't get a feeling like, uh oh. OK. Huh. Well. But that must meet, make the Taiwanese people really sick. The yeah, they're, they're, they're over there yeah. protesting. The Taiwanese are? Yeah, there was even some American Taiwanese in the news, a businessman who flew back there to be in the protests because they want to wow. keep their, their land. And they but, want China to get the yeah. hell out? Yeah, I read the cards a little bit differently, but yeah. I'm getting uh, something with, has something to do with money. Well, definitely they... They, they, yeah, they're puffing themselves up. China does that a lot. They're like, well, they're in, they want to take it because they want the money that these people, they're making good oh, money. Okay. That's why I'm getting that. And I'm not really versed in foreign politics very well. Yeah. I just started, I'm learning how to be a, 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 a law student. No, watching all these cases. So I'm learning about American pop, but okay. But yeah, this is coming in, but it's not quite, there's something offered that they don't, aren't happy with but this is my card for the white house this is upsetting for the white house this is a problem because they 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 don't want to be involved in that but what are you getting yeah i mean they're causing a lot of stress yeah causing a lot of stress yeah but they don't quite enter the battlefield 
Oh, really? And I got the Ace of Pentacles, which is a peace treaty or something like that. Okay. Or maybe Taiwan offers to give him a portion of the of the loot until that other guy goes down. He's not going to be there forever. Yeah, this could be uh, the White House helping them negotiate something. That, that yeah, yeah. So he's not going to be there forever. But don't yeah. they depend on us economically for a lot of? I mean, I don't know. I don't know about their economics. I mean, don't you see made on China and all, all this stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I thought you stuff. were talking about Taiwan. No, no. Well, some, yeah, but yeah, I meant China. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't, I see that we're, I mean, they they know what side their bread is buttered on. They're trying to act like kings for the day, but they won't be able to take over Taiwan. Okay. And Putin's not going to be able to help them because I'm telling you, his army's getting ready to turn on him. Yeah. Putin knows he's gone down. Oh, really? Yeah. I I can't stand to read on him because 45 is is dark, but he's just like... He's stupid dark. Creepy. But uh, Putin is like... I, I get physically ill when I go into his energy. I got to tell you so something. I, these guys have heard it about four times now. But I had a dream that I was... The other yesterday that I was with Putin... And I was someplace where he was in charge and he oh. was trying to make me a cup of tea and I wouldn't have any. Oh, and he, yeah. he was as charming and as nice as could be. He was trying to charm me into liking him. Ooh. Not liking him in a romantic way. I mean, just right, like, right. like he was just sweet and kind. And I remember in, I, in the dream, I was like, I just can't wait to get out of here. No, I don't want a cup of tea. I don't want a bite of this because you're going to try to kill my ass. Yeah. Yeah. He's sneaky like that. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. So what did you get on Ohio getting on the ballot? I think they'll be, President Biden will be on the ballot. Uh, yeah. Yes. I'm glad to see that Republican governor said enough of this nonsense. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That they're, yeah, they're trying to push the. But oh, don't try to get Trump off the ballot. Yeah. We'll go to yeah. the Supreme Court. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that would be um it would be a really a bad look for them too. Now they're kicking Biden off the mm -hmm. it, it never amazes me how much Fox News lies. I'm just like, God, why do I even oh, I, would... I look at it just to see what they're doing or and like so know ugly. your enemy? What? It's so ugly. Yeah. Yeah. I had a five and a half hour flight from Atlanta to San Francisco and the guy in front of me, right in front of me with his screen right there was Fox News. And he watched that Fox News through the whole, I was watching other things. But when I would look up, you would see these headlines and it was like, oh my God. And they have names for Biden, you know, the Emperor Biden and all this. It's like, God, shut up. Yeah, he tried to kill, uh, he's, went in there locked and loaded and tried to have uh trump killed in the raid in mar-a-lago well M trump wasn't even there they made sure to do the raid when he wasn't and, and by there. the way when they went into uh biden's house they did the same thing they're all locked and loaded yeah and by the way it's not like they can't find him he's already always right there somewhere you know hollering and yelling wherever he is some it's not like you have to wait to bar lago two, three years ago, whatever, to get in there and find him. <laughs> so can I ask you, when I've asked each one of the psychics thus far today, okay, the magic question, guilty or not guilty, Manhattan? Oh, guilty. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe not on every count, but right. yeah. Yeah, I, I saw them finagling with some of the counts. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like, I'm. Mean, let's do it. Even if one juror is like, yeah, well... Everybody's gonna go. What? Well, I do feel some. A couple of jurors are a little fearful for their own lives. They're worried about the repercussions. Uh, yeah, because it's history making. I sorry, I dropped a card. That's why you saw the top of my head. Let me pull a card. But I've been looking at um this, and I always get guilty, and I'm feeling like it might even come out like next uh, Thursday. But then you have to wait, like two or three days. Like I don't even feel like they'll be in there that long. 
but then you have to wait for the sentencing, which I feel like could be a couple months out. And then it feels like um, he's still going to be uh, able to, you know, appeal it and continue his campaign, maybe on house arrest or have to, you know, give a- Yeah, I didn't see him going into jail. No, but a like parole officer a, or something. Yeah. But I don't feel like they'll, and then who knows with his health issues he's got, I don't even, who knows if they'll even still- uh, be around. I think, but... I, when did you, okay, before you we move forward with that, let's just step back a second. Okay. When, when do you see uh, the Supreme Court releasing immunity? End of June? No, I haven't looked at that. Let's... Well, let's look at this first then. The what Supreme the Court? Again? The question was guilty or not guilty. Guilty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me look at that with my cards. Everybody's going to be happy. Yeah, look at this. Guilty. Look at this. Yeah. So, you know what? People are going to be very happy. Yeah. But I wanted to know, does he pitch a fit in that court? Remember, not too long ago, I saw the judge telling the jurors to get out. I couldn't tell if he was mad at Trump or what ended up he was mad at that that Costello. Cuckoo. But I saw it. I predicted. I said yeah, I see yeah. it's shutting it down. Now, this could just be a possibility that happens. I'm not saying it's definitely going to be happening. I don't know why. I keep seeing like you know when they arrest somebody if they push them up against a wall and they got their head like this and they're handcuffing them against a wall. I keep seeing Trump like that. Like maybe when the guilty verdict comes, he's gonna might have a hard time controlling himself. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to predict exactly how somebody's gonna act in, but there's a possibility. It's quite a possibility that that could happen. From we your could, mouth to God's ears. Well, we'll see. It it you know, I feel like that's what he wants. He wants to react. He has no yeah. self-control. And but I don't see the nation in an uproar at Fox News, maybe. No, no. Look, they're going to say it's horrible. See, they tried to kill him and now they put him in handcuffs like a. And, and they're not criminal. allowing the protesters to come in. There's no protesters. Out and there. he's just like Jesus. <laughs> and they handcuffed him. See? <laughs> well, our guy, our Andre, told us. Uh huh watch this watch this space because what's happening and i said this years ago i saw yes. the rats jumping off the ship i saw that what's going to happen is is that he doesn't get away with things like he used to oh yeah okay and by the way watch uh arthur's i was on with arthur before okay. you okay watch that because he's got some dates he thinks justice thomas will be out in october he says Judge this year yeah, he sees Judge Aileen going too, and I think in July. Really, I always saw her being removed. Yeah, and I think Judge Chuck can, can hustle and get this thing going if they come with the immunity at the end of uh, June. Yeah, I think it's a possibility. I think it's a possibility. I don't know if it's written in stone, but will, are we asking that? Will the case? Yeah. Be, will, will Chuck can be able to do the January 6th? Because, you know, poor Jack Smith is just itching. He's just itching to get it done. Yeah. Before the election, will that case happen before the election? Oh. Wow. This actually looks... Uh, yeah, this actually looks like a possibility. Okay. It good. actually looks pretty good. So I'm I'm just getting um this is my card. There's an agreement, something is reached. Now there's something physically, like can it be put on the calendar or something? Then the people, the White House is happy, even though they have nothing to do with this case. Biden's yeah, but they're glad to case. see. Yeah. It's not Biden's case, it's the the government. Okay. Yeah. And then something is offered, but it's not quite what they wanted. But this isn't a no. The case yeah. isn't. It may be that it's starting but not resolved by or something. But look what my my card say. What what does it say? 
Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yep, there's the news. Wow. In a way, wow. they, they might make it happen by September. Okay. Okay. I just I did not see Thomas going. I always saw Thomas leaving for health reasons, saying that, oh, because Jenny Thomas, that's what it is. Because yeah. if like leave her alone and I'll step down and get out of the limelight or something. But my logical mind says, why would he leave before the election? Because I feel like he doesn't want to. But yeah. I'm open to that possibility that that he um will he uh step down or leave before the election in October? That's what Arthur said. Okay. He feels trapped. Oh but if they do something with his heart. Yes. Okay. He has a lot of secrets. So he feels trapped. There's something, there's some kind of betrayal or heart. it could be an issue with his heart. But then this is a yes, secrets coming out. Okay. Things he doesn't want people to know. Like it could get worse if you stay in there. It's not looking good for 45. And then he says, oh well, yeah, my, my health or something like that. Well, I'm don't forget that. too, when Jack's done with Trump with January 6th, he's got a long list of people to, to put and um, indict. Oh, one, yeah. one of them okay. is Jenny Thomas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jim Jordan and all of those putzes. Yeah. I love yeah, it. The ones that were gave the 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 um, tour of January 6th, that guy. Yeah. Name? Um, and then um, the Jim, uh, what was that? Not Jim, but somebody, Johnson, Ron Johnson, who was sending emails for to Pence to tell him to throw over the election. Thank God for Pence, I will tell you that much. Somebody, yeah. people were telling me, and tell me what you think. Oh, I'm sure he's going to pick Nikki Haley for BP. No, he's no. not. No. Not no. at all. In fact, he wants her money. I saw him talking to a reporter, and they were asking him, so what do you think about Nikki Haley being on your administration? He said, yeah, we may find a place for her. But the reason yeah. she said I'll vote for him is she's hoping he'll knock off before he might not even make it to the to the field goal. Uh, yeah, or but she's shown us who she is. Oh, listen. all that talk about oh Trump, and then she turns around. I mean, it's disgusting. Disgusting. I had a tiny, tiniest bit of like I don't like her on abortion. She's kind of scary, but. Oh, she's not that bad. And now I'm like, oh, yeah, you're just. Oh, did you see the people that a group of them met with the Biden people? They're so mad at her. They just won't vote for Trump. Really? Yeah. So that's good news yeah. for us. Yeah. When I saw with Kennedy, that guy, the guy with the. You, I mean, can you make this stuff up? It was if it was like some bizarre movie, a guy running for president that has a worm in his brain. Did you hear that? Well, he announced that he had a worm in his brain. What? I know. I mean, like, is this the, the best? This is the offices of the president of the United States, the most powerful man in the world. And what? You have a brain, a worm in your brain? I mean, okay. But I felt, I always felt like he would, this kind of backfired that they, somebody put him up there to try to hurt Biden. And now it's hurting Trump. Yeah. Yeah, but and by the way, Trump is going to speak at the Libertarian. Oh yeah, yeah. After... Some people were booing. I heard that. I wish I saw it. I'll have to yeah. Google it. So, so what do you think about that? Um, that Bronx event where Trump was in there. Like at first, I saw it in the news. I was like, what? Yeah. Well, did you hear the people said all the cars in the parking lot were out of state car license plates? Yeah, yeah. There was some guy, some old guy from Florida or something who's a MAGA. And he was yelling, he was standing there like he was drunk or something. He was yelling, porno, I want porno. And then they found him passed out. And he said, well, I've been up for 24 hours. People were trying to wake him up. He was passed out on the lawn. And all this like um, people with, I don't know, criminal records or people from out of state. Oh yeah, I know. And they said it was more as all these people. It was only about 35. It was like a small crowd. They tried to say, oh, it's a big... And even the the news reported, Joe oh, Trump's getting support from from minority communities. I'm like, really? And then I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> you didn't really see any minorities there. 
not many no oh god yeah he, don't worry he and the thing is they fraudulently put up pictures of ron Stu, rob stewart's concert and act in brazil and act like that was a, a, a event that trump had they put up uh if, of a street new york going down the street and people are waving that was biden's team going down the street because yeah. there wasn't a biden uh biden there wasn't a Trump hat or flag in the mix. Yeah. And, and and Don Jr., look at all the people in New York that came out for my dad. No, that's not your dad. That's Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they just lie. They try to lie about yeah. the size. He's always been a size number person. Yeah. And then um, the uh, saying, oh, there's crowds of people trying to get in to support me at the courthouse. Trump was saying, there's nobody out there. There's like one lady that was uh, doing something weird and talking to air or something. And and uh, so then they have some, like some right-wing person, I can't remember the name, shows up in a truck with all these penis-shaped balloons with um, the Alvin Bragg, the, the J Mashan and Angoran spaces on them, and then release these penis balloons. So there's penis balloons people are like whoa look at the balloons and they're like wait a minute there's faces on them. it's alvin bright that was his support that was his support yeah <laughs> those I, that in the from, red tri brigade right that guy from john stewart he uh he did the best interview with those maggots down there and he said the guy said i tell you right now i love russia russia is fantastic did you see how clean their streets are there's no homelessness and there's no crime. And he said, actually, sir, Russia has the highest crime rate worse than the United States. Really? And he looked at him and he said, really? Jeez, I didn't know that. They just repeat what Fox News tells them. Yeah, yeah. And project everything that's wrong. Like Biden can't put two sentences together. Oh, do you think they're going to debate? I don't think. Ah, yeah, I was feeling something was going to happen, and no. I think that Trump. Well, they if they drug test him, Trump can't go. <laughs> oh, he can't insist on anything, and there's HIPAA laws. The president has to, doesn't have to. But I see Biden saying, "Sure, I'll take a drug test. You too." Yeah, yeah. Well, but Trump was saying they need a drug test. Well, he's projecting on to Biden, but I feel like he's going to try to get out of it because. They're saying that Biden can't get two sentences together, but Trump is the one. Yeah. The only thing he can do is like yell over Biden. To, that's what he did last time. But now his brain is even more toast. <laughs> Here's an interesting from a DG, she's, or he or she. When I was somewhere between the age of nine and 11, I would see a dark shadow figure at the end of my bed each night. I was a male. It was male with black pointy hat and a black cloak. He would smile and laugh at me in an evil way. I was so scared I slept with four rosaries on my bedpost and prayed intensely until I fell asleep. After a few months, it went away. What was this and why did this happen? Um, are, Do you want me to answer that? Yeah. I feel like that's a ghost with bad intentions. And I've heard about these pointy hat people. Oh, you have? Yeah. Oh, he had a pointy hat? He had a black pointy. I've heard about it. I've heard about these. And they tend to be tall. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, all children are psychic. And um, when we start, when we, after the age seven, we start kind of, you know, acclimate, we start shutting down. So everyone can feel energy or they get thoughts, but um, yeah. So it feels like some kind of, it's, I don't feel, it doesn't feel demonic. It doesn't feel, is it an alien? No, it feels like some oh. type of a ghost. It's not a shadow person, which the, all those things would be much more dangerous, but doesn't make that, you know, less scarier. Is it some kind of weird elemental I keep feeling like it's some kind of a ghost trying to scare somebody, letting, making them think, um, cause there are ghosts that like to scare people and haunt and making them think that, you know, that they should be, feel like they should be afraid. 
Oh, listen, I had a client that was having something, even grabbing her ankles and stuff. Really? She lived in this little apartment and I took a bunch of people up there. We came in with the gear, you know, the holy water, the sage. Yeah. And yeah. we had this computer that we had hooked up the camera that shows the outline of whatever is in there. It looks like sticks. There's a word for it anyway. So as I was screaming at it, telling it, St. Michael and stuff that you, you, you be gone, so to speak. Every time I threw the holy water, you, you would see it drop. Yeah. And then I do it again and it dropped. I did it. And then all of a sudden it just didn't work. The computer went out. It was, so it took a while to get rid of that, but that was a tough case. Yeah. You're an exorcist. exorcist. Yeah. It those are, I don't out. like, I don't do those, but yeah, if you have that issue, if you ever have that issue, you see something scary, always call, you have spiritual friends. That's what you need. Jesus, Archangel Michael, call on them, get your holy water, do a sage, you know. Um, if you can get holy salt too, you can, yes. you can take sea salt and, and do the sign of the cross and some holy water on it. Yeah. And then yeah. sprinkle it around the house. Yeah. I see. I have a bowl of salt here. I have flowers back there, waters that brings spirit helps with spiritual and, and all my crystals but i have a bowl of salt here and there's a rose petal that fell in it but um because i work with sick people and sometimes they have attachments yeah so i'm getting a ringing in my ear right now that's oh the angels want me to the guides want me to talk about yeah do your prayer ask them for help and they'll they're here to help you you need uh spiritual friends just like linda did when she went in there and she's saying the prayer and your spiritual tools, you might need some help because you don't, if, if it's, you know, it was a lot for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, don't, I didn't get an attachment. Thank goodness. I, I don't do that work anymore a lot because believe me, I've had, I could tell you some stories that, um, yeah, but, uh, I saw my, um, uh, I was walking. I like to walk in the Hills up here with my dog and, I saw uh, like a 15 foot tall, my guide and a male guide next to her come out of the hillside. Um, I wasn't scared. They wow. were, they were see-through, but they were like uh, part of, um, yeah, they were just letting me know they're there. That happens to me a lot. I've said, you saw Jesus. I've seen Jesus. He appeared to me in the hill. I get a lot of messages out in nature. That's wonderful. Uh, yeah. But um, I was up there the other day and there were all these little sparkly lights in the hills, this little lavender lights. And I'm like, okay, I know you're, I remember when I saw you there. Um, That's great. Yeah. But you, it's really important to, I do that even, you know, these days when I even go anywhere in my car and an airplane, whatever, I always say, you know, it, when I wake up in the morning, I'd say, yeah, hover over me. Cause you don't know, you know, yeah. what's out there. Take and then at night I say, thank you. I have a, I love your prayer. Are you still doing your prayer? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm probably, uh, the latest will be Monday. I got too backed up. I don't know if I can okay. do it today, but yeah. Yeah. But people can do that too at home, you know, yeah. say prayers. Yeah. The prayers are powerful. They're energetic. Yes. Uh, uh, they're, they're your way of tapping into universal consciousness. Yeah yeah so last question okay um do you think there's actually um our friend um i just went why did i go just blank on the guy i just had a re did Arthur. Arthur. he said there could be a f-16 this year do you think f-16 f-6 tornado um where did he say he didn't say where but he felt a tornado sitting florida and the carolinas yeah more extreme weather that's another reason i say prayers um i also say prayers like show me where i might be moving this latest next year or something but um yeah i i see extreme weather tornadoes i feel earthquakes and volcanoes um yeah right now I there's a lot seen, of i had a, a dream about a huge volcano going off yeah, and when it started spewing, I remember in my mind thinking, "Uh oh, 
The sun's going to be blocked for quite some time. Yeah. So we're having solar flares too, which are, can affect, make people feel tired or off yeah. balance, affect technology. There's a lot going on with the earth. We're in this big time of change right now. Politics in our personal lives, our shifting of consciousness, the weather. I mean, this is really a lot, but we are coming to a time of a new beginning. Yes. And so that's what we can, and, and, and 45 was part of that, bringing that um, a, a awareness of all the corruption yeah, and all the things that are not working that we need, because it was always there, but it wasn't so blatant and so awful. Yeah. And so we're just going through this big change, but what will come out of this is a new time. So if you believe in things like Lemuria and Atlantis, where they have found settlements that are back beyond our our history what she, like when did where, how did that get there so those worlds ended in a flood in lemuria and then a big earthquake and a flood in atlantis i don't feel like we have a big ending like that it's more like what we're living through now it's a shift in consciousness it's like the mayan calendar predicted the ending i thought okay is the world going to end no it's the ending of the paradigm and a new beginning and yeah. that includes all of this stuff so that we can live in a world without war without yes. prejudice without greed and corruption and so yeah. that's part of every it's like it's physical it's weather it's politics but we are coming to a better place so well you know the people were saying when will these maggots and stuff stop this trauma and yeah the guys always kept showing me the shifting of the earth. So I think there's so many natural phenomena taking place, occurrences that people have to just worry with the everyday thing of living. And it takes you out of that mindset. You know, you suddenly a lot of the things you thought were important are no longer important. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so kind of go with the flow, say your prayers and we're going to be okay. We're just, you know, we're seeing all the stuff that uh, this year especially is a big year of change. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm we're coming to a better to place. And, and uh, yeah, so. That's great. Well, thank well, you, my friend. It was wonderful seeing yeah, you. Yeah, I love doing this. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I'm having a good time, believe it or not. Now I've got Deanne next. Yeah, well, let's do it again. So we'll Let do it know. again. Okay, hon. All right, honey. You All can, right. Next time I'll be on your channel. Yeah, and they can subscribe to me. I'm at Sybil Harmony. Okay, I'm going to put the link. And, and what's your link to subscribe to you? I don't know. I know. I just clicked on this Linda G. Go, yeah. Just if say you Linda, Linda G, G, you'll find me. You'll, you'll find you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye, you guys. Okay, bye. Cheers. Oh, hello.